Hello, hello. Eduardo, Esaú, hello. Carlos, welcome to the class, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Voy, voy en camino para la casa, ya, 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 ya me conecto bien. That's okay. Ah, oh, please, please, please. <laughs> Be careful with the vocabulary, please. Cuidemos el vocabulario por ahí. <laughs> okay, now. Let's start now with the class, right? Okay, I have here a power presentation. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, right? The topic for today is how to use imperative. How to use imperative, right? This is the topic. Okay? Uh, Inglés corporativo, right? And the teacher Javier Gomez says, welcome to the class. Welcome. And let's start right now. Okay. Uh, Esau, can you read the, the objective for tonight's class, please? Okay, good evening. Good evening. Uh, unit two. On guide activities at, at the workplace. I will be only two. Pro provide, provide. 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 Provide uh, instructions for actions or activities on simply comments. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, right? Okay, and so today we're going to learn what is commands or orders or imperative, right? Imperative is when you give orders, ordinance, instructions, instructions, right? Instructions. And in general, some commands, commandos, right? Commandos, command. Okay, good. Now, how often do you write uh, memos, right? Memos, you know what is a memo, right? In in the office, right? Carlos Enrique, hello, welcome. Hi, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You don't look okay today. Everything is okay, Carlos Enrique? You, or you are tired only. Cansadito. <laughs> yes, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I see your face, right? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, today I am, you know, I am fresh because I took a nap in the afternoon. Tomé una siesta, right? <laughs> in the afternoon. So look, I am. Good. But yesterday, yesterday, I was, yesterday I was like this. Look. Okay. <laughs> the energy, right? Sometimes the energy goes down. But don't worry. I know yeah. you have enough energy to 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 participate tonight. So, um, in your office, Carlos Enrique, how often, with what frequency, do you write memos? Eh, memos in Spanish is eh, notas a los compañeros, a los jefes o a los empleados if you are a manager, right? Uh, pidiéndoles algo que han hecho bien o han hecho mal y hay que corregirlo, etcétera, etcétera. Memos, right? Uh, I, I I write uh, and never never write never. memos. <laughs> I, I I write never memos. Okay, good. And and Carlo Enrique, you're a manager in your company. Yeah. Ah, you're a manager. Okay, but. Sometimes when you give instructions to the employees, those are memos. Even they're not written. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is, uh, son recordatorios, yeah. sugerencias, instrucciones, right? And, but... Emails. In emails, yes. In an email, you can make a memo, Anytime. right? Yes. In an yeah. email, usted puede mandar un memo. Okay? That's it. An email is a Four memo. Days. Hmm? No necessary yeah. in a paper, right? You say, okay. I write in a paper the memo, okay? Uh, fulanito, you mm -hmm. have the, no, no. No, you can send it by uh, an email and say, uh, 
terminar el reporte para el viernes, eh, asistir a la reunión que tenemos el lunes, por ejemplo, right? eh, no olvidarse de apagar las máquinas cuando terminen, eh, no olvidarse de no usar el celular en, en el trabajo. <risa> okay. I imagine, yeah. I imagine some of the struggle, right? Eh, ok, no tomar bebidas que digan que empiece con una P y un corazoncito ahí en, en, en el trabajo <laughs> o con un venado <laughs> ok, so those are instructions you give when, when you write memos, right? good, and yeah. I, I imagine eh, Carlos Enrique that you give instructions to, to your co-worker, right? do you give instructions? Yeah. Uh, every day Every day, right? I imagine. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, how about you, Esau? How about you, Esau? Do you do you give instructions to your co-workers? Um, group WhatsApp. For WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Can you can you give me some examples uh, in Spanish if you want? Right? How what okay. instructions you do you give to your co-workers? Por ejemplo, pasamos instrucciones de aplicaciones de promociones, mm -hmm. cambios de precios. Eh. So, in this case, es I imagine, only I imagine, right? Eh, uh -huh. cam cambiar el producto B, aumentarle dos dólares al precio porque eh, se, se gastó en otra cosa aquí, vamos a incorporar un nuevo precio al producto. Ok, so it's The instruction could be cambiarle el precio, cambiarle el precio. Correct. For example, I imagine. So I imagine. <laughs> okay. Correct. Good. And uh, you're a manager, Esau, or you are an employee? Uh, Normalmente, o los pasa mi jefe o los paso yo. Ah, okay. But my question uh -huh. is, are you a manager? O oh, you are only employee. Mm. Do you understand the question? Es, no. es usted jefe o solo empleado, right? That's the question. Uh, eh, no, es eh, su jefe, es con vos. Su, su jefe, so you're a manager. No, but sí. you es you es sí. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. Su ah, jefe, okay. Uh. ok, su jefe, excelente. Uh -huh. So you, no, you normally go uh, give instructions. Uh -huh. To your, to your co-worker, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Nice. Thank you very much, Saúl. Eh, Carlos, what about you, Carlos? You're, you're driving, Carlos? No. Okay, I guess uh, Carlos is driving in this moment. Let me see. I have a message of Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, I received the message. Beatriz, right? Listener tonight. Va a estar de oyente, Beatriz. Okay. Good. Now let's continue. Right now, let me see uh, who is connected right now. Uh, Eduardo, please. Eduardo, do you normally give instructions to your co-workers? Bon appetit, Eduardo. <laughs> no. Okay, sorry. Excuse uh, me. Uh, uh, bon appetit. Buen, buen apetito. <laughs> I mean, it's buen provecho in Spanish, Thank right? You. In English, you say bon appetit. Okay. Um, do, you give, you. do you give instructions in your work, Eduardo? Yes. Yes. Give yes, me one, I, give, give me one have... example. One example, please. Ahí dice que si recibo instrucciones. No, no, no. If you give... Ok, si usted da las instrucciones. Que si doy instrucciones. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, uh, no. No, I no. I don't give uh, instructions in my you, work. You receive the instructions. Usted las recibe, right? Yes. Ah, yes, okay. I receive. Ok, and what instructions normally you receive, Eduardo? Can you give I usually, ex ex examples? I, I usually receive instructions, for example, that calling my clients, uh, ah. call my clients and send and send many emails and okay. review emails that another partners and, and charging that 
That sales sería cargar la venta. The, the sales. Ajá, uh -huh. the sales. The sales and the trucks. Ok. Ah, no, the products. The product, right? No, trucks. Trucks. No, no, but Camiones, what I, what I, what, aha, I understand that the... the, the... I charging, charging the styles in the trucks. Ok, that's it. O sea, pone el, el producto en los camiones. Correcto. Ok, good. That, I understand. O cargamos, o cargamos el material en los camiones. I understand. Charging you, the, you charge the, the, the materials or the products in the trucks. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. So, le, uh, you can receive, for example, say, eh, Eduardo, eh, charge the truck number two, for example. Eduardo, put the products in the in the truck. For example, right? Mm, not, no, 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 not in the truck number two, number three, that is uh, the order for a driver. Ah, for example, okay. the, your client arrived at antes de after, before that before. before that my client and everybody sharing 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 that como le digo cargamos el camión que que si en orden no va el uno ni el dos sino uh -huh, que okay, in order okay ya. okay the next client and then you okay what are what are you yeah. client number one client number two number three etc in the order they appear in the in the company right I understand not everybody calling not everybody calling that client for for his name or for ah, her name I for understand. example a, is the tour of the Pepito el cartero eh, <laughs> Juan Pérez uh -huh. okay continue I understand. that the Eduardo Flores eh, continue that the eh, eh, any words okay continue with the with Carlos Portillo continue with Jorge Laines continue with Cindy Lisbeth right etc et Mauricio Cienfuegos Hugo Pérez <laughs> continue <laughs> Continue with Lionel Messi in el Barcelona again, etc. Yeah, etc. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, class. Thank you very much. Now we're going to introduce the topic, right? In a conversation. Uh, but let me see. I will do something. Um give me a second here. Here's the conversation. Yes. Marsha, Marsha, right? And and Luke. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Okay, this is the conversation. Now, but uh, in the meantime, what time is it? Yes, it's time to take the attendance, right? Mm, Carlos Portillo. Carlos? Can you hear me, Carlos? Okay, ahí veo la, la imagen. Me dijo Carlos que iba manejando, así que vamos a poner la asistencia. Okay, Cindy? Present. Okay, thank you, Cindy. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Carlos. I understand. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. When you get home, tell me, right? Cuando llegue a la casa, me avisa. Usted tranquilo. No voy a chocar ahí por ir, <laughs> por ir participando. Tranquilo. Christy? Cristina, hello, okay, eh, Joshua, Esaú, present, thank you, eh, Elizabeth, thank you, Elizabeth, Jill. Giovanni, Giovanni, Be Beatriz, solo va a estar de oyente, me dijo Beatriz, <coughs> sorry, ok, eh, Jennifer, present teacher, thank you, Jorge, good evening teacher, good evening, welcome, Enrique, Bueno, sigue incapacitado, Enrique, ¿verdad? Espero que se recupere pronto. Eduardo. Present. Ok, thank you. Alejandro. Here, teacher. Thank you. Manuel. Manuel Eduardo. 
Mario. Okay. okay, thank you, Mario. Andrés. Oscar Andrés. Oscar Daniel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Victor. Victor Alejandro. Carlos Enrique. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Let me see. I will repeat the, some of the names, but I have a message here. Uh, Jennifer Beatriz present. Okay, very good. And uh, Manuel, se voy de camino a casa, estoy presente. Okay, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. No voy a chocar por, poner los, por ponernos los mensajes, ¿verdad? <laughs> Manuel, no voy a chocar. Eh, cuando van manejando, por favor, si pueden, contésteme. Si no, hasta que lleguen a casita, no va no a suceder un accidente ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, voy a repetir los chicos que no están presentes, por, por si alguno se ha incorporado. Cristina. Joshua. Jill. Giovanni. Oscar Andrés. Víctor. Bueno, espero que se incorporen otro ratito. Now, let's start with the conversation, right? Always a conversation. Now, he says, Marsha, please send this package. And Luke says, Luke says, yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Mm, actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. And then um, Luke said, right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, class. So now, uh, please send this package is a way to use a command or an imperative, right? Look. Give me a second. Send. Please, I need you pay attention that when you say send, you are not using a, a subject. For example, I don't say Carlos Enrique sends or she sends or they send or Oscar Castillo sends. No, you don't use a subject, okay? The, the subject is implicit in the, in the sentence. Uh, it's not there. You cannot see it. But it's, the subject is going to be all the time you. The sujeto siempre va a ser you. But it's implicit, okay? Or oh, never copy he, she, they, I. No, no, no. Only, only say the verb, right? Solo vamos a usar el verbo, man. Send, open, write, speak, uh, charge the trucks, car carguen el camión, you know? <laughs> okay, etc., etc. So you say the verb, right? This is what we call infinitive or command, right? Then the word ma'am, the word ma'am is a short form for madame. Madame, right? So the way is ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, it's similar in El Salvador. Some people say, madre, le ayudo con, con, lo, con las bolsas, madre. You know? <laughs> yes, have you, have you heard this expression? So it's similar. It's, it's a way to, to say madam, madam, right? Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So in this context, I, I imagine... Uh, Marsha is not young, right? No muy jovencita, Marsha. It's, it's a lady, right? So it's a madam. Good. Do you need anything else? That means necesita algo más, right? Anything else. Algo más. Anything else. And then the word actually. 
actually, I'm sorry, <clears throat> means actualmente, no. Means en verdad, right? Let me copy here for you. Actually means <clears throat> en verdad. O la verdad es que, right? So it is actually. Uh, I want to tell you about what is a cognate. Let me explain what is a cognate. Cognate. For example, the cognates are piano in English, in Spanish, piano. Right? Other word, mm, for example, institution. Institución. Okay. Other word. Uh, let me see um, what other word we have. Uh, a guitar also. Guitarra, right? Um, what else? Pizza. Pizza is the same, right? Um, etc, etc. We have a lot of cognates, right? So, what is a cognate? A cognate is a word that is the same in one language or very similar in one language and very similar, similar in the other language, right? El cognate es una palabra que se escribe igual o se pronuncia igual o es casi igual que la palabra en el otro idioma, right? So, that is a cognate. But then, when you say actually, you say, ah, actually is actualmente. <laughs> Actualmente, no. So, here we have a false cognate. La palabra actually es un false cognate. ¿Y qué es un false cognate? Excuse me. Like, actually means... Actualmente. And no, right? Is no. Actually means en verdad. Okay, and the other one is traduction. Traduction. Traducción, right? And no, incorrect. This is not true. Esto no es verdad, right? I will show, right? And so that that we call false cognate, right? Uh, es una palabra en inglés que cree uno que significa una cosa cuando en realidad no es eso lo que significa, right? Traducción, no, traducción, no existe esa palabra. La palabra correcta es translation. So you say, uh, voy a traducir una palabra. I, I will tra traduce, the, the, no, <laughs> translate. I make a translation, I translate the word, right? Good. And finally, other that is very common, that you say, uh, teacher, fíjese que voy a llegar tarde a la clase porque tengo una... I have a capacitation. And it's no capacitation, it's training. Training, right? Okay, so you don't say, I have a capacitation, I have a training. Training, right? So, and then, I tell you this because it's important you don't confuse, right? Entonces, los cognates son palabras que son iguales en un idioma e iguales en el otro idioma, right? Y un false cognate es uno que aparenta ser igual, pero no es así. Es mentira, es una trampa del idioma, que uno se equivoca, dice, actually es actualmente, no, no. ¿Ok? Así que tengan cuidado con estos false cognates, que los pueden engañar. 
Un alumno una vez me dijo, ¿verdad? Teacher, corbata se dice corbat. <ríe> no, it's not corbat, it's tie, tie, right? Por ahí nos podemos confundir, ¿ok? Let me see. Uh, sí, Eduardo, está un poco estable su conexión. Esperemos se estabilice, oiga. Le vamos a mandar un mensaje aquí a Eduardo. Espero se estabilice. Ok. Good. Y Jennifer Beatriz tiene también problemas con, con el internet. Bueno, ok. Sorry. Eh, van a disculpar que a veces me mandan mensajes en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y aquí también, pues, y a veces no puedo responderlos como, como yo quisiera. Pero después de la clase siempre reviso, ¿verdad? O antes, a veces reviso si hay algún mensaje. Ahorita, por ejemplo, tengo dos mensajes. Eh, teacher, entraré un poco tarde, dice Alejandro. Ah, muy bien. Hasta ahorita estamos leyendo, Alejandro. Sorry. Y tengo otro mensaje acá. Ah. <risa> Ay, que Eduardo, sí que es chistoso, ¿verdad? Vale, les voy a comentar con el permiso de Eduardo. Eduardo me dice que está inestable el internet y el culpable es el vecino porque el vecino está viendo películas en este momento y no lo deja tener la señal a Eduardo. Ok, ya, ya me hizo reír Eduardo. Ok, continue, please. Good. Then we say actually means in fact, right? In verdad. And it says right away. Right away means immediately. Ahorita mismo, jefecito. Ahorita, right away, right? Good. Now, and new interns are new employees. When I refer to new interns, it's new employees, no empleado, right? Good. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. Please send this package. Package. Send. Please send this package. Oopsie. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Anything? Anything else? Th, th, th. Anything, anything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything, anything. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Actually. Please write a memo. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. For the general meeting. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Give me a second. Good. Continue, please. Right away. Repeat, please. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Shh. 
sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Supervise. Interns. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay? Now let's practice this conversation. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Do you have questions about vocabulary? No, okay. So uh, uh, let's practice the conversation with some student, right? Let me see. Uh, I will review the, the attendance. Christina? Joshua? Jill? Giovanni, Oscar Andrés, Víctor Alejandro, ah, Víctor dijo que se iba a incorporar más tarde, ¿verdad? Let me see, Víctor Alejandro, yes, very good, sí, sí, recibimos un mensaje de, 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 de Víctor Alejandro o de Luis Alejandro, no, de Víctor, eh, ¿verdad? Víctor Alejandro, sorry. Luis Alejandro sí está presente. El que no está presente es Víctor, que me dijo que se incorpora luego. Ok, very good. Now, ahora sí tengo todos los chicos que van a participar esta noche. So, I have Cindy en Esaú. Ok, Cindy, you are Marsha. En Esaú, you are Luke. Ready? Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we introduce tonight Cindy <laughs> and Esau. Action. Please send this paper. Yes, man. Do you need a nail and a, a needing else? Anything? Anything? Actually, Anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day or the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo secret, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please. Supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, uh, sorry. Tonight, uh, Dino wants to say hello to the bird, right? Dino quiere mandarle saludos al osito de la princesa de Cindy, right? Hey, bird. How are you, bird? Are you Winnie Pooh? No. <laughs> nice to meet you. Also, nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Right. What's your name? Also. Sorry. Repeat. Repeat. <laughs> also, no. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Also, no say. Nice to meet you. Also, no say. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, also no yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's go to the pronunciation again. Pay attention, please. Please send these packages. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give, give, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Aquí tiene, right? Here you go. Oh, and look. 
please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, Esaú. And thank you, Cindy. Now we have two more participants. Uh, uh, we have Elizabeth. And... Thank you, teacher. Oh. Carlos, Carlos. Okay, very good, Carlos. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Good. Now, so I have... Elizabeth and Carlos. Ah, no, no, Carlos, you didn't listen, right? No escucho la conversación, ¿verdad, Carlos? Okay, no, entonces después, después. ¿Cómo no? Si lo estoy escuchando. Ah, oh, good, good. So, so, Carlos, you are Luke, and Elizabeth, you are Mark. Okay. Yes? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay, teacher. Give me a second. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo, tonight we have... Ah, <laughs> oh, Cujucuyo, yes. Carlos and Elizabeth. Action. Please send this package. Yes. Um. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one first memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise. The new inters? Absolutely. Hey, listen. Uh, yes, thank you. But listen, class, here you have uh, uh, some reactions when you want to uh, say congratulations to, to the to the student, right? Give me a second here. In my in my in my screen, I have this reaction. Look. Let me see. Uh, what is the reaction? I don't see it. Perdón, me perdí aquí. Reacciones. Yes, okay, good. Now, here, right? Ahí está, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Claps, right? <laughs> yes, Thank come you, on. For your participation, Elizabeth and Carlos, yes. Good pronunciation, yes. But let's repeat for the last time, right? And then we have other participants. Listen, please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Stickers. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Um, antes de seguir con los siguientes participantes, quiero hacerles una observación. Quiero hacerle una observación a esta clase. Eh, espero que no se molesten si les hago una observación. No hay problemas. ¿Les puedo hacer una observación? Ni problema. Ni no problem. problem. Bueno, entonces yeah. ahorita. Ahorita le hago lo que... Permítame, ahorita le voy Ok, ya les hice la observación. Gracias, ok. Digamos. Excelente, continue. Ok, excelente. Ok. Le digo, especialmente una observación para Eduardo que estaba comiendo semita y no nos compartió, ¿verdad? Ahí está la observación. Y por favor, que le diga al vecino... Eduardo... Dígale al vecino que no le corte la, 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 la energía otra vez, por favor. No queremos tener problemas con el vecino. <ríe> ok, buen provecho otra vez, Eduardo. Ok, no. Sé que nos iba a regañar, teacher. <ríe> no, I say observation, observation, right? <ríe> ok. Lo vino Andrés, dicen. Oh, yes. <ríe> Good. Now, eh, Jennifer, please. And Jorge. Jennifer, you are Marsha. And Jorge, you are look, right? Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three, action. Please send Reese back. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Uh, actually, yes, please write a memo about three that for three general meeting right always 
Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, I am hard you are. Um, uh, oh, I'll look, please supervise three interns. Absolutely, finish. Uh, absolute, uh, okay, absolutely finished. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you very much. Good participation, Jorge. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, okay. No, thank you, right in? Of course, Jennifer, right? Thank you for your participation. Now, we're going to have, let me see. Uh, Jill, are you are you here, Jill? All right, he's not here today. I'm here. Oh, good. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> no sé si escuchó la conversación, Jill. Sí, la última, sí. Sí, va, pero la, la voy a pronunciar para usted especialmente, permítame. Solo le voy a buscar un compañero aquí que le ayude. Let me see. Eh, yo tengo a Esaú. Ya participó eh, Jennifer, Jorge. Ok, me falta Beatriz, right? Beatriz, ready? Aquí estamos ya. Sí. Excelentoso, Beatriz. Nice. Ok, eh, <laughs> so, uh, Jill, you're going to be Marsha. Ok. And Beatriz, you're going okay. to be Luke. Pero lo voy a pronunciar una vez más porque hasta ahorita se nos incorporó Jill. Ok, listen, listen, please. Please send this package. 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 Yes, ma'am. 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 Do you need anything else? Anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting, right away, right away, right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Pero no me va a decir absolutely finish. <laughs> Solo absolutely, okay? Good, ready? Okay. Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Calzontes Abajo in Santa Ana, we introduce tonight <laughs> Beatriz and Jill. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for general for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. <laughs> 